Well, thank you very much. It's, <clears throat> I can't believe it's the fifth time uh, Tallinn Music Week is taking place. Uh, it has become quite an event. I just proposed to Helen that we should rename it, uh, should be called um, NXNE, that is North by Northeast, following the example of South by Southwest, because basically uh, this, this event does for does for Europe what South by Southwest does for the United States. That is, yes, it takes place somewhere more sort of off in the fringes, but uh, it has become the place to come to. Um, and so uh, I'd just like to also acknowledge uh, Tallinn Music Week for all it has done. Five years ago, we were blessed that people knew that, uh, yes, there was a one of the, uh, well, the most sold contemporary composer in the world, Arvo Pärt, is an Estonian, but that was it. They didn't know much more. But since uh, Tallinn Music Week, we have seen all kinds of uh, new bands uh, really becoming known here and making it thanks to being presented here. Um, and the other dimension where Estonia has been doing well, five years ago, <clears throat> perhaps people didn't know that Skype was an Estonian thing and it had been invented here, but, uh, but now today we see uh, all kinds of uh, interesting startups that are really doing wild and uh, amazing things that are, you will be hearing a lot about in the future, but, uh, but bringing the two together is something that uh, Tallinn Music Week is doing. I'll mention that a little later. Um, uh, so uh, uh, I'm glad that this is a happening place where the, these, two, uh, these two streams are coming together. Um, but first, that, let me just say, welcome to Estonia. I'm wearing these sunglasses. It's a talismanic thing here in Estonia because the sun never shines. Um, <laughs> But, so, but if the sun does come out, you want to make sure that you get to experience, at least if not for more than seven minutes, uh, wearing sunglasses. And so this morning I saw that the sun was peeping out of a cloud. I said, wear my sunglasses, and I put them on. So I can, in fact, not in this room, obviously, but when I go out and the sun is shining, I get to have that rare experience of Estonians of wearing <laughs> sunglasses. Anyway, uh, uh, get back to my point <laughs> is that both the both the music side and the IT side or the startup side they're all basically startup they're all innovations um, and one of the things we have learned uh, both in music and in, uh, in on the IT side is that uh, you have to constantly invest in innovation if it is to be more than a one-off um, now, Tallinn Music Week, I'm glad to see, has worked closely with another Estonian startup startup, which is Garage 48, an idea that was developed in Estonia and is now spread over Europe. I just read it's moved, they, they're also doing it in Africa now, which, uh, which brings together uh, usually about 100 startups, and then they do an intense 48-hour 40 hour workshop to get a product out. Uh, from with different skills ranging from software to design and so forth and so this is a this uh, sort of new way of approaching IT and new way of approaching music is I think a very fruitful direction uh, generally people who like new music also are relatively tech savvy and bringing it all together I'm glad that the uh, that we have at Tallinn Music Week this time one of the inventors of the MP3, Doc Finn Bach of Norway. I don't know if he's here, but in any case, this is the kind of synergy that we like to see in Estonia. Basically, as I said, bands and new IT software applications are both startups. The ability to recognize and then nurture new talent is essential in both spheres. Um, and I'm glad that uh, one of the great figures of nurturing music, uh, for the for at least for my life, since I was uh, well, I was in college when uh, when the Talking Heads came out. Uh, but uh, the man who has who recognized and brought out to the world Madonna, the Talking Heads, the Pretenders, and that great great band, the Ramones. Um, not to mention Estonia's own, uh, own Evert and the 
two or three dragons, depending on <laughs> who's playing with them. But the man we have, uh, that great man who I didn't realize he was, he had done it all, because, but I, I just did mention some of my favorite bands that he brought out, is Seymour Stein, and um, he, who has brought really some of the, the great artists who have changed music, because if you just followed the trends, you think how boring it was, and well, you don't remember any of you, but Mr. Stein does. I mean, in the 1970s, before he brought out the bands that, uh, that, uh, that I mentioned, uh, things were kind of boring. I mean, you had to really look for something interesting. There was a lot of glam rock around and other funny things, but, uh, but then suddenly, you know, you hear, you hear uh, talking heads, and you go, wow, this is what I've been waiting for. And so, but again, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. I mean, you, ha you find something that's very different. The music is new and exciting, but uh, completely unexpected because everyone else was still doing like three chord progressions. Well, the Ramones only did three chord progressions, but, but the rest of <laughs> the other bands were sort of wearing gold lame suits and uh, had big hair. But there's more to music than big hair. So, uh, you can be very talented in this world, but you need those, those rare geniuses who can spot that talent, help it along. And this is what Mr. Her Stein has done, and also what we want to do here at uh, Italian Music Week, and have done so. Um, well, this year, I hope we get a little uh, innovation also in uh, foreign relations. Uh, you may or may not know, but we and our Eastern neighbor don't always get along. Uh, it's an understatement. But anyway, uh, <laughs> well, last year I came out supporting, supporting uh, Pussy Riot here when actually no one knew who they were, but I talked about Pussy Riot here and proceeded almost to get excommunicated by the Estonian Lutheran Church. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I was not a joke. I got condemned publicly for coming out and saying we have to support these people. Uh, but anyway, uh, we have here with us this year a number of Russian bands, uh, and I do, you know, as much of it's a cliche that music is the universal language, blah, blah, blah. Well, English is the universal language here. <laughs> and, um, and, and we have a number of Russian bands. I'd like to welcome our friends from Russia. I think that uh, this, this kind of very strong cultural exchange is what we need. Um, last year, we have a band here in Estonia called Valjaseit Rohailisa, which is uh, taking a trip to the countryside in translation. And my, my then security policy advisor, uh, no, better known as DJ Drummy, gave me a record to uh, give to uh, one of the great musical critics uh, of, uh, of Russia, Artem Troitsky, who is here. And then I said, well, you can listen to this. And he, he wrote back later saying, yeah, I, I liked it so much I brought them to play in Moscow where they were a huge success. So this is the kind of exchange I hope we get out of this, uh, this uh, event this time. Uh, last year I did talk about Pussy Riot when, just when they've been arrested. Uh, today everyone knows who they are. Everyone knows what happened to them. And I said back then, and I hope... Uh, I hope people still remember quoting Ezra Pound saying that, uh, who said, poets are the antennae of the race. Uh, I think that's true also of, of musicians. Uh, 50 years ago, almost, uh, Bob Dylan said, you don't need to be a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. Um, I hope we don't have an SDS created out of that, but nonetheless, uh, the universa universality of music and the understanding and the sensitivity required to play and understand and appreciate music is something uh, which can get you in trouble. We all do think of music as, as a fun thing to do, and that's why you're all here, but as I said, looking at uh, you know, three women, or now two, who were shipped off to the gulag, uh, for playing punk music. In fact, they didn't even play punk music. They did a video where they just, where they jumped up and down and later on added the punk music, as it turned out. But as I said, music can get you in trouble. It's not just fun. And I think that uh, for those reasons, uh, we need to have a little social awareness as well when we are here. Um, anyway, I, w I don't want to take up too much time, and there's enough hot air in here anyway, so I will leave it at that. But I'd like to say to all of you, welcome to Estonia. 
wear your sunglasses. Um, don't forget to go sun tanning <laughs> on the beach. The, the, the water's right here. Uh, and also, do take time out to go to the, uh, to the magnificent Old Town, which we have starting right here, about uh, 50 meters away. Uh, I say it's the greatest example of pre-Columbian architecture you Americans will ever see. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>